This is the kitchen. Double doors, which is rather nice. And then you come in here. One shoe box. Washing machine space under there. And guess where they've put the gas cooker, uh, the gas meter. Look at that. They give you one bloody wall covered and half of it is unusable. And that's for the cooker. That is my one and only storage cupboard. That's for the fridge and the freezer, which means I'm going to have to stack them, which means I can't get that window open. Radio in the kitchen, I've no idea why. Two points that I can't use because my worktop, that's my only workspace there. And I'm not going to have me mixers and stuff plugged in there to work on there. Back door to the garden. These steps are not easy to tell. Oh, well, that one isn't. That's one side of it. And that's the other side of it with the jungle beyond. There is the valley in the paving. There is all the cables that the other person put in to have a TV in the kitchen, so she must have managed it, so I should be able to. This I wanted sorted because that would not be fun to fall against. Um, that's the only wall space I've got for my hammock and my planters and me everything else. That's the, there's the steps going up. Steps are easier to see on the way up than the other on the way down. But I'll need to get them marked anyway. This is my front door. If I go straight ahead, it's the living room. Which the kitchen lets off of halfway along. Radiator there for some strange reason. Why need one there one? The true the heat would work through into the kitchen if I have one there. Double windows which unfortunately come out about 18 inches when they're open. Two TV sockets, two electrical sockets, two that are closed off which I need to reinstate. Alarm which I've no idea how to use or if it's still working. Council decorators hard at work. And that's the living room. That's the pool called for the hot water. Space here, which I'm going to have to get shelved for towels and other stuff. Obviously they've got work on this one. Um, towel wheel on the back of the door, which is handy. Towel rail. Um, stupid place to put a radiator, because I'm going to scorch my knees unless I sit side saddle. But that's that one. That's an internal room. Another store cupboard, which doesn't even have a light switch in it. Three shelves, no lights. Um, I'm going to have great fun sorting stuff out in there. I'm trying to find stuff out of anything. Little porch types in here for the door. The room proper. Why they put rads under the window, I have no idea. Another pool cord thingy. Um, this window had a retaining, restraining bar on it to stop it opening wide. That's how wide they open when they are fully open. And I did ask the painters, um, I forgot to ask them about putting a stripe on the window so I could see them. But I did ask them to put a stripe on the ends of the doors, edges of the doors, so that I could see when they were open. And that's my chinois, chinois. This is the hall. Got a coat rack. Oh goody. All of the rooms have got two lights in them, except of course the kitchen, which is where I need more light. This 
is after redecoration and I must say I'm fairly pleased with it same paper in the lounge as in the hall as I asked gives a sense of continuity and they even put the stripes on the edges of the doors for me as I asked them to I asked for red, I was thinking of a brighter red but still and there's the kitchen which again looks a bit more cheerful though not any bloody bigger I've swept up and I'm at the stage of washing the cupboards out which I've done, that's why the doors are open and uh, my wet room again looks a bit more presentable so I noticed the decorators have nicked all the J cloths that I was left so lucky I bought a floor cloth over uh, I can't wash the top shelf because I can't reach it except for the first couple of inches and this is the bedroom I couldn't remember what kind of, what uh, patterns I had. Um, doesn't look too bad. It's small enough. It's it's not an oppressively big pattern. Oh well, and that is. As I say, that's not too bad. It's um, the self that I've got on the walls, uh, on the hall and the lounge. This one. Would have been a bit too restrained for the bedroom, I think. Right, so that's... Oops, save lucky. I've taken the meter reading here. Uh, that'll do. Wasting battery. Situation reports. Living room. Falling over. The time is and I have had to empty three, six, seven, eight boxes and in the ninth box I found the oven dishes which I was going to stow in the oven but which Dip Brain already packed it's taken me this long to find them and now I'm too soddy knackered to cook my back is absolutely killing me one store cupboard oh bloody hell So I've got to give that guy a bloody commendation. I mean, even the plastic picnic plates he wrapped up. The stuff that I had packed, he unpacked and repacked, so I've no idea where anything is. Now, the situation I bought for the bathroom, or the wet room, which is living up to its name, as you can see. I had a shower, but the water did not want to go away it's still full up to the over the lip it wasn't until I pulled the curtain back I went to step out that I realized I had to phone the council and of course my phone ran out I only had five pounds anyway that ran this is the bedroom that's my bed and that's where I'm going to be sleeping until the bed is put together which it can't be until this piece is replaced with one that long to go in the middle to support the weight I've got my new lights up and to add to the jolly jollifications I have just realised today that I can't find one of my set of keys which wouldn't be so bad but they've still got the address tag on them 